You know, Gotham City and Metropolis are like night and day. Bottled by Brainiac. I got you stuck off the realness. I got you stuck off the realness. I got, I got, I got, I got you stuck off the realness. Um, so let's just get into it. Uh, let's just, uh... Hello! Welcome back to the Daily Planet News, where you get all the latest news for DC Universe Online. I'm your host, Nerd of Prey, and let's talk about it. Let's holla at you. Let me holla at you. Let me holla at you. Let me holla, 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 holla. Maps, what are you doing here, bruh? Didn't we fire you? Didn't you get laid off? What is going on, bruh? Let's talk about it. Alright, so we're gonna dive right in because I have a lot to say. I have a lot to unpack. Let's talk about it. So right here we have the Teen Titans Judas Contract episode spotlight. So from August 13th, 2024 through Monday, August 19th, 2024, players can enjoy double source marks when completing instances in this garbage. In other news, we also have the new Artifact Red Tornado Redistribution Module. This artifact can only be acquired if you are a tank power, so if you're a healer power or a troll power, you cannot buy this artifact from the vendor. And the reason why this is so is because we do not want the player base to abuse this like they did the Eye of Gemini. But I digress, let's talk about it. Along with the release of this new artifact, we have a marketplace sale for 20% off the entire artifacts tab from August 13, 2024 through Monday, August 19, 2024. You would think that we would release double artifact XP, right? But you see, it's all about money. We need all of y'all to spend your money in the marketplace because guess what? The speed hackers in most of this community is the reason why you're probably never going to get double artifact XP again. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about talking about it. If you want to know why we're never going to get double artifact XP again, well, it's because of this. It's because of the speed hackers. It's because of the PC community. You see, PC can still speed hack an AFK farm with a macro program on the PC. You see, all they need to do is find a programmer to sell them a hack. And the hack, all it has to have is a five minute delay. And that'll bypass the five minute loot lock timer that us here at Daybreak Games put into the game to prevent exploitation. The only problem is it only prevented the console players from doing this. The speed hackers on PC can still do the exploit no problem. It hasn't changed. It's laughable. You see, we make all this money here at Daybreak Games, but we don't install an anti-cheat. And if you ask us why we don't install an anti-cheat, we're gonna give you a BS excuse about it's not gonna be compatible with the hardware. It might make it all crumble. Bruh. Have you ever wondered why you can't trade catalysts like artifact catalysts or ally catalysts with PC players? Well, it's because of exploitation, because they can do this, right? If, if you ever wonder why we can't reset each other, you know, PC players can't reset PlayStation players, PlayStation players can't use replay badges to reset PC players. Well, it's because of this. You see, PC players can exploit. And us here at Daybreak Games, we can't stop them. We could only slow them down, see? But we can stop the PlayStation community for benefiting benefiting from these PC players you see because what's happening here you see what you have to understand is all the top leagues I mean you name them I'm not gonna name any names here but all the top leagues there's at least one player in there that has a PC and they hack you see they'll beat the raids legit and get the footage for you and be like look we could beat the raids legit but when it comes down to farming and getting resources and getting down to business to make dc cash it's all about speed hacking and all of these top leagues have at least one of them you don't believe me let's talk about it let's talk about talking about it let's talk about you proving me wrong about it can you prove me wrong about it i don't think so let's talk about you trying to prove me wrong about it 
I have 13 years of experience on it. Let's talk about it. You see, what you need to understand that this goes deeper than what you know. The reason why the 5 minute loot lock timer got put into the game to begin with is because of the speed hackers themselves. Let me explain. Let's talk about talking about this. Talk about it. Let's talk about this garbage about it. So check me out. Let me hear. Let me holla at you. Listen, bruh. These speed hackers will straight up go on Discord and sell a spot to other speed hackers. And when enough money was made from all of these other speed hackers buying up the spot and location to do this on, that speed hacker that sold them the spot, he'll go and report it to the developers. And then the developers, us here at Daybreak Games, will remove the raid. And when the raid is removed, well... All those speed hackers don't have a spot. Well, here comes that speed hacker coming up with a brand new spot to sell to them. And then when they all know it, he'll report it again. This is why it was leaked. This is why the developers found out. Let's talk about it. Prove me wrong about it because you don't even know what you're talking about it. Bruh. This is why we took out trading artifact XP. Us here at Daybreak Games was losing a lot of money. You see, because these speed hackers can AFK farm and pop nth metal detectors. And then they get 999 stacks. And then they sell those stacks and advertise that they can get your artifact from 0 to 200 if you pay them like 3 billion DC cash. We was losing money and we had to get rid of it. That's why. Prove me wrong. Let's talk about you trying to prove me wrong about it. In conclusion, the speed hackers can still do this. The speed hackers actually, some of them, they they, they like to run their mouths a lot on Discord. And and the same the same speed hacker that was selling spots like this in the past, and then when he ran out of customers because they all had a spot, you know, so he needs to make money somehow. So you need to report the spot to the developers so that your customers don't have a spot to farm, so that they come back to you and buy another spot. Yeah, that hacker that hacker is now trying to sell a duplicate glitch all over discord so like th these hackers they it's like it, when you speak with some of these hackers they they got all this power and they don't even know what they are doing with it and a lot of them just are really childish it's like they they little kids you know what i'm saying they they don't know what they do and they don't even know how to run the market with these hacks it, it, i only know the, the reason why i know is because they have all this power bro and they come at me and talking about they want to buy dc cash that's why i know i sell them the damn dc cash and a lot of them are in leagues like top leagues like you wouldn't even believe what, what, what leagues they in now for all you console players listen up let me holla at you let me holla at you let me holla 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 at you you can afk farm without a macro without a pc without any of that garbage i know several spots i'm not going to show you all of them in this video because it's a lot of information again if you want to see how to afk farm legit without hacking without all this garbage just just holla at me in the comment section below i might make a video you know afk farming nth metal in ally favor in 2024 but all you need to do is find a spot like this i'm in gotham city you do not get clamped in gotham city this is old school gotham city you feel me and all you gotta do is take a rubber band or a hair tie you feel me and you wrap it around a old controller that probably has stick drift that you don't really play with no more you feel me and you wrap it around that r1 button and boom you block and these ads are so squishy they just they hit you it's like a tickle and then boom you get xp this is how you afk farm however if you get too close to the NPCs down by the by the bridge, you you can't AFK. It'll disconnect you. I don't know why the open world disconnects you. There is spots and instances that you can do this in. I'm not gonna show you in this video. Like I said, if you guys ask for it in the comment section below, I might show y'all. But again, do not spend your money on this garbage game for XP packs. Don't get fooled by that pyramid scheme. All you need to do is take your freaking controller, wrap a rubber band or a hair tie around it, around your R1, and just sit out here and block. And these ads will get killed, you'll get money, you'll get XP, and you can just leave your PlayStation 4 
running all night and it'll just get you XP and when you wake up the next day you got all this stuff to spend on your artifacts and your allies you feel me so with that said let me holla at you let me holla at you let's talk about it let me talk about talking about it I'ma catch you on the next one I'm out I got you stuck off the realness I got you stuck off the realness I got I got I got I got you stuck